Hey guys, Jeremy here, and I'm going to give my two cents about the Battlefield 5 trailer. Now obviously there's a lot of people, there's a lot of talk about this, some people are confused, some people are frustrated, some people are upset, and it's because of just how not authentic this game is looking, despite the fact that they kept on talking about immersion and all this stuff. I honestly didn't watch most of that, uh, re that reveal with Trevor Noah, mainly because it was scripted as hell, and the answers were just so bland and you're not really going to get anything until you see some actual gameplay trailer and this was a funny trailer this was a pretty intense trailer a bit over the top almost reminded me of that sequence in call of duty 2 the new one where the train basically explodes like a michael bay movie and obviously the thing that we've always enjoyed battlefield fans have always enjoyed about the games is their resemblance to authenticity a much more grounded, fun, but grounded, more realistic sort of shooter with vehicles, weapons that sound and act like they would, and a respect in general to history. So when we see a Scottish woman with a metal arm fighting amongst all these, uh, I would assume, allied American, British soldiers, and one of them's walking around with no shirt on, he's just got uh, suspenders on, um, so, obviously, there's a little bit of confusion into this. Now, there's two thought thoughts I have with this. The first off is this trailer actually isn't as different as I thought it was. I, I, when I was watching it the whole time, I kept on trying to remember something. It's like, this is reminding me of something. And, in fact, if you actually go and watch uh, Battlefield Bad Company's 2's Squad Trailers 1, or Squad Stories, this trailer resembles that of five in the terms of how they shot it like a one shot sort of a deal uh, soldiers in an extremely intense situation blowing up stuff yada 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 even the endings almost kind of similar uh, but so that's my first thought and then also watching the gameplay uh, sorry watching the trailer a lot of elements did remind me of battlefield bad company 2 the humor the fact that we can see bullets going through whole through walls that would be really nice to have again in battlefield christ i've i've missed that being able to shoot someone through a wall would be nice um and then all these other elements really did remind me of battlefield bad company 2 and like i said the humor like when the guy's like ah, i need a medic and he turns around he's like oh yeah sorry but he gets knifed and that was funny so yes uh, obviously this does not look like an authentic World War II shooter. They are going a little bit balls crazy with that, which admittedly, I think they're doing it because they saw the reaction to that of Call of Duty World War II. Who liked it? Who, out of all the general masses, everyone was like, oh, it's bland, blah, blah, blah. Everyone wanted to go back. Not so much, They no one wanted to go into the future anymore. So, Battlefield 1 wasn't more so just like a game changer, it was literally just giving something new. And basically, World War 2, but not it exactly, even though there's a lot of automatic weapons that there in this game that there definitely was not a lot hanging around in the actual First World War. So, I feel that Battlefield 1 was kind of that savory fruit that everyone wanted. So for this one, they're going to give us a World War II, but on their own terms and, and, and how they present it. For instance, another idea I had was what happens if this is like an alternative history? What if there's differences? Like something has happened to change history. And ergo, this is why the, the world is like this. This is an alternative reality. That's a thought. I know it's a really strange thought. But that's something I kind of had an th opinion of when I was watching this trailer. And I'm hoping that maybe we'll get to see more in terms before the game comes. I am... The only thing I really care about is that there's no... That loot box shit that was in Battlefront 2. And when I mean by loot box shit, I mean... The ability to have a more powerful gun and all those power-up garbage things that... Immediately when I saw that, I was like, nope, I'm not touching it. Only, I will accept loot boxes, I hate loot boxes, but I will accept them if it's cosmetic only. If that's it, just like Battlefield 1 was, they made a shit ton of money off of people just buying the cosmetics for that game. I don't give a shit, they can do whatever they want. 
in terms of cosmetics is I've never given a crap about that. I never spend money on that. But if people feel like they want to do that, all by all means, at least they know what they're buying. So for this, we'll see. We're going to see what happens with this game further along, obviously. I'm admittedly, I'm not upset. I'm actually kind of intrigued just because of how odd, off-worldly this trailer was. But that's just my thoughts. You guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this might be a, a bit of a callback to Battlefield Bad Company 2? For we saw from the destruction in the trailer and the humor and, we'll, and other elements. Or do you feel that this is... Some people are getting the opinion that this is uh, a leftist sort of ideal of people being like, ooh, gotta be progressive, blah, blah, blah. Now, I feel that this is another, oh, this is actually another counter because in World War II, Call of Duty World War II, you could be a black German, a black woman German. And it, no, <laughs> it, that, that did not happen. Um, so that's what I mean. I think... Whereas they did it just because they're in Battlefield, they're actually going to put a spin on it. To actually, you know, it's like, we know this wouldn't actually happen, so why don't we just make it a little bit more crazy and a little bit more woo? So we'll see. Anyways, that's my thoughts on it. You guys, if you guys want to talk about it, put, put your thoughts in the comments below. And tell me whether you're interested in seeing this game and playing it. Because admittedly, I am. I really love Battlefield 1. So it was it brought me back because Battlefield 4 was a giant disaster. I know apparently you can play it now, but I'm not waiting three years to play a game. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.